Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr, and I'll be your host. My guest today is Rob Vandenberg, CEO of Utah-based Lingotech. Rob, welcome to the AWS Report. Thanks, Jeff. I'm happy to be here. So uh, tell me a little bit about your product. So Lingotech is a translation software and services company. And uh, our goal is to sort of simplify the process of enterprise translation, helping companies go global, um, providing tra rapid, trusted translations. OK. Is this manual, automatic? How does this work? So we have a collaborative translation platform, which enables companies to select content and use machine translation, crowdsourcing translation, as well as professional translation. All right. So you're, the user of your system can actually decide what level of turnaround versus quality versus Absolutely. So we have this concept of a content value index. Some content is really consume only like a knowledge base. And so you can simply hit a machine translation button and, and read that content. It's not really for republishing. Whereas some community generated content or user generated content might be uh, better for crowdsourcing or community based translation while other really high value content, you know, should be looked at by, uh, by a professional, have a professional translate that content. All right. Now, it, do you go from any one language to any other language, or is there a more restricted set of, of language pairs that you handle? Yeah, that's a great question. So we actually support all language pairs. Um, machine translation is, is more select. It handles about 50 language pairs. Uh, but the, the software and technology itself can facilitate all language pair translation. OK. It, was this based on like a research project at a university, or where did the technology Originate. Uh, the founder of the company uh, had originally done sort of large-scale translation projects and saw the need to, to move that process to more of a collaborative environment, so a web-based environment. If, if, uh, if you use real-life human translators, they're really in-country, they call it. So if you're translating to German, you want to use somebody that's located in Germany. So the web and sort of an online environment is a better place to centralize the content, centralize resources, have people simply log into that everything in sync. Okay, so this kind of online collaboration really represents the, the new enterprise where you don't have just the, the company, the firewall around it, and you have insiders and outsiders. You have these more permeable borders around your organization. Yeah, that, that's what's uh, interesting about translation is it's, it's very much a scale up and scale down. So there is an intermingling of you know, the things like machine translation and crowds and communities and professionals. So that, that may depend on a project, that may depend on a domain, so there's subject matter experts that uh, participate in the translation process. And so having a cloud-based environment where you can be flexible and allocate resources in a unique way is really important. All right. So when you say scale up, is that by percentages or multiples, or what, what might be the proportion of how much you it might It might be an order up? of magnitude. I mean, there's, there's large-scale projects that come on, say a, a company has a product launch or a new marketing initiative and they're anxious to you know, go global and have that happen in 32 languages all at once. Well, there's a lot of preparation behind the scenes to make that happen, a lot of translation. So that, uh, that process uh, may take a few months, but uh, um, the idea of that sort of scaling up quickly and then winding back down is, is important. So you know, in many ways, that's why AWS is such a great fit for Lingotech, is that, uh, that sort of on-demand, elastic demand type of ability to scale up and scale back down is really important. Sure. OK, so let's turn to discussing a bit more about how you use AWS. So um, we started with AWS about three and a half years ago. So we were a bit of an early adopter. And um, our, our CTO is, is uh, keen on, on, on trying bleeding edge stuff. And we're really glad we did. It's been a very good experience for us. It's fit our business model. Um, content and translation is inherently global. And, uh, and so it's a great fit for AWS. Uh, recently, we uh, partnered with uh, sort of a new initiative at AWS with GovCloud. So um, Lingotech has, has a footprint in the public sector in the Fed space. And so having GovCloud with the certifications and sort of the unique security elements of GovCloud was really important. Oh, that's excellent to hear. So let's see, kind of thinking about AWS, are there different services that you use that were kind of more or less you know, strong contributors to the architecture that you put together? Yeah, I think it's just the idea of the utility computing, having sort of scale across lots of nodes, being able to have a clustered environment, having sort of flexible storage. Um, we collect a lot of data, um, the idea of centralizing content. We also centralize something called translation memories. And that's the idea as you translate from one language to another, you create a parallel corpora. 
And so we've, we've created a lot of data, our customers create a lot of data, having the ability to search and index that data quickly uh, to provide resources to our human translators is really important. So um, that, that scale and infrastructure that AWS provides is key. When you talk to your customers about the cloud or AWS, do, mm -hmm. do they, is that a matter of interest or concern or do they even really care that much that they might be where their content is hosted and how it's translated or do they just kind of step up and say, yeah. please translate this and they really remain oblivious to what's happening behind the scenes? You know, I think customers are sophisticated. I think they really um, have, you know, the, the software as a service model, now cloud model is really you know, gotten into the, the sort of mainstream consciousness. And so people want to understand that, that as a company, we're sophisticated too, and we understand what our infrastructure looks like and what their needs look like. And so the ability to say Amazon and AWS and, and the idea that we have that elastic ability to scale up um, is really important. So um, a lot of our companies are technology, our customers are technology companies. And so they're very familiar with a, with a cloud-based approach and uh, sort of get a lot of satisfaction from knowing where Interesting. AWS. So it might be that they are already familiar with AWS or the cloud through some other means. Sure. And they could come to you and say, we have a big volume of things to translate. Can you guys handle it? And you say, sure, we're, we're on the scalable cloud-based infrastructure. We can, we can elastically expand to deal with whatever you yeah, want you're, to send our way. You're spot on. I mean, that's, that's really the core question from a business requirements perspective is, can you scale up? We, we're a big company, we've got big projects, we've got a lot of people that want to translate, um, lots of different languages, can you scale up? Well, we say, here's our you know, technology architecture for Lingotech, and here's our infrastructure provider. You know, that satisfies that requirement pretty quickly. 